In Greek mythology, we always hear about the powerful gods and the glorious victories of heroes. But who were the most unwanted, abandoned, and unloved children in mythology? Well, first we have Hephaestus, the god of smithing, born deformed and unwanted by his mother, Hera. In disgust, she cast him from Olympus, and eventually he found solace in forging extraordinary creations. He was brought back to Olympus by Dionysus, and was one of the only gods to have returned after exile. As a blacksmith, Hephaestus made weapons and military equipment for the gods and certain mortals, including a winged helmet with sandals for Hermes and armor for Achilles just like the story of the ugly duckling. But the only difference is Hephaestus stays ugly. Next, we encounter Oedipus, whose parents attempted to thwart a prophecy by abandoning him. Fate, however, guided him back to his homeland, where he unknowingly fulfilled the prophecy. Oedipus was destined to kill his own father and marrying his own mother, a tragic outcome born from a desperate act to escape destiny. Now, we have Perseus, born to Danae, faced a perilous fate due to a prophecy. His grandfather, Acrisius, fearing his own demise, he abandoned both mother and child. As an infant, he was cast into the sea in a chest with his mother, since it had been prophesied that he would be killed by his grandson. Yet, they both persevered. Later, he embarked on a heroic journey to slay Medusa and change his destiny. On a side note, if you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to help the channel. Moving on, Another example would be Paris, also called Alexandros, meaning the defender. But in Greek legend, he was the son of King Priam of Troy and his wife Hecuba. But a dream regarding his birth was interpreted as an evil, and he was consequently expelled from his family as an infant. Left for dead, he was eventually found and raised by shepherds. Next, we have Telephus, the forgotten healer, son of Heracles and Auga, suffered a troubled beginning. Cast out by his mother, he was saved and raised by a doe, embodying the resilience to overcome abandonment and become a renowned healer, showcasing the strength within. In some accounts, Telephus arrives in Mycia as an infant with his mother, where King Teuthras marries Auga and adopts Telephus. You can say he was fond of all deer, since he was raised by them. Anyways, moving on, our final tale follows Atalanta, abandoned by her father left to die in the woods presumably because he wanted a son. She was saved and suckled by a she-bear who protected her until she was found by a group of hunters. These hunters raised Atalanta. She soon learned to hunt like a bear and became a skilled huntress. In her case, love, family, and strength aren't determined by blood, but by one's determination and courage. Well, there you have it. Join us for more mythological stories. Now hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated. Until next time, on the History Realm.